Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to learn about cell. As we know, every living organism is composed of cell. Cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. The basic structure means हमारे body की basic structure या body structure cell के through बनते हैं और every part of the body functions differently through cell. The word cell comes from Latin word cilia meaning small room. The study of cell is called cell biology or cellular biology or a cytology. According to organization, cell is a single nucleus. Cell is a single nucleus. Group of cell is known as tissue. Group of tissue is known as organ. Group of organs is known as organ system. And group of organ system is known as organism. ये कुछ steps है एक single nucleus से या एक single cell से fully grown adult की तरफ. The cell wall were first seen by Robert Hooke in 1665 as he looked through a microscope at dead cells from the bark of oak tree. Robert Hooke ने 1665 में माइक्रोस्कोपिक से dead cells को विजुअलाइज किया था किस पे oak tree पे उन्हें कुछ इस तरह के cells नजर आए थे जो बिल्कुल बी हाइफ की तरह देखने में थे बी हाइफ की तरह देखने में थे एज हम लोग जानते हैं सेल वॉल्स आर ओनली प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट्स एंड एब्सेंट इन एनिमल्स एब्सेंट इन एनिमल्स आफ्टर दैट Living cells were visualized by Anthony von Levon Hook. All organisms are composed of cell. Some are composed of single cell. Kuch organisms single cell se composed hote hain and some are composed of many cell ya multiple cells. The organisms which are composed of single cell are known as unicellular and Whose are composed of many cells are known as multicellular. Unicellular organisms को हम लोग acellular organisms भी कह सकते हैं. Acellular means a single cell. Single cell. Unicellular organisms के example हो सकते हैं आपके paramecium. Paramecium. Amoeba. Multicellular organisms having multiple cells, for example, cat, dog, human. Every vertebrates, जितने भी vertebrates होंगे, वो multicellular होंगे. और जितने भी इनवर्टिब्रेट्स एनिमल्स हैं इनवर्टिब्रेट्स एनिमल्स हैं होंगे यूनिसेलुलर सेल स्ट्रक्चर अ सेल इज कंपोज ऑफ नॉन लिविंग स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच जॉइन टुगेदर टू फॉर्म द लार्जर वंस प्रोटीन्स न्यूक्लिक एसिड Carbohydrates and lipids, which include fats and oil, are four major molecules. As we know, our cell is composed of non-living structure, which is known as molecules. In that, protein, nucleic acid, carbohydrates, and lipids are present. And these four major molecules are the ones that make our cell structure. Underline a cell structure, and this 
हमारे सेल फंक्शंस में भी पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शंस इन सेल्स आर परफॉर्म बाय एंजाइम्स स्पेशलाइज्ड प्रोटीन एक्टिंग एज कैटलाइट्स टू स्पीड अप केमिकल रिएक्शन जो भी बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शंस हमारे सेल्स में होते हैं वो थ्रू एंजाइम्स होते हैं स्पेशलाइज प्रोटीन जो कि कैटेलाइट्स के रूप में काम करते हैं और वो हमारे केमिकल रिएक्शन को स्पीड अप करते हैं डीएनए कंटेन्स द हेरिडिटी इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल्स वाई आर एन ए वर्क विद द डी एन ए टू बिल्ड थाउजेंड ऑफ प्रोटीन रिक्वायर बाई द सेल एज वी नो डी एन ए कंटेन्स द हेरिडिटरी इंफॉर्मेशन यानी कि जेनरेशन टू जेनरेशन डी एन ए हमारा इंफॉर्मेशन जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन कैरी करता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अल एंड इट इज हैविंग अ डी एन ए The genetic information is carried by the cell or the DNA to their offsprings. To their offsprings. Types of cells. There are two types of cells. One. Prokaryotic cell and the other is the eukaryotic cell. As we know, in prokaryotic cells, usually seen in unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are having prokaryotic cells. The cell does not have any compartments. कोई भी कंपार्टमेंट्स नहीं होते हैं डीएनए सारे कंपोनेंट्स फ्रीली मूव करते हैं एंड इन यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स देर आर कंपार्टमेंट्स देर आर न्यूक्लियर एनवेलप न्यूक्लियर एनवेलप माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया nucleus endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus golgi body vacuoles here we can see in eukaryotic organisms yeah eukaryotic cell there are different compartments and every organelles are having a specific space ye freely move nahi karte hai wo particular ek place pe ek space pe rehte hain and in prokaryotic cells there are freely moving components including the dna here we can see the differences the prokaryotic cells are found in unicellular organisms are found in unicellular organisms which is single cell organisms single cell organisms or invertebrates invertebrates all the components including the dna mingle freely in single compartment in cells interior jitne bhi components hai including the dna wo freely move karte hain cells ke interior mein for example prokaryotic cells ke examples ho sakte hain bacteria archaeobacteria now the eukaryotic cells contains numerous compartment it contains numerous compartments yani ki multiple compartments or organelles these compartments are known as organelles within each cell the dna is enclosed in a special organelles called nucleus which is known as nucleus which serves as cells command center and information library dna एक स्पेशल ऑर्गेनिज्म में इंक्लोज होता है जिसको हम लोग न्यूक्लियस बोलते हैं और यही सर्व करता है सेल्स की कमांड 
or information to other cells. This is the nucleus and in the nucleus there is a DNA. The cell theory was proposed by Sheldon and Sean. They give the theory that all living material is made up of cells as we know all cells arises from pre-existing cells most cells arises by cell division jitne bhi cells hai wo pre-existing cells se arise karte hai yani ki parent cell se parent cell se Daughter cell. Most cells arises by cell division. As we know, cell, here is a single cell and it goes under division and produce daughter cells. Mostly cell made two types of divisions hote hai, mitosis and meiosis. Next, the cell is the elementary unit of life. As you know, the cell is a basic structural and functional unit of life. Most of the cells are small, about 5 to 20 nanometer in length. Every cell is bounded by a plasma membrane. Sabhi cell ek boundary se bounded hote hai, jisko hum log plasma membrane bolte hai. An extremely thin boundary separating it from the environment. All cells are composed of similar chemicals and carry out the same biochemical process. Sabhi cell similar chemicals se composed hote hai. Or jo bhi chemical reactions hai ya chemical, biochemical reactions hai wo same process ke through hote hai. Here are the two figures of plant cell and animal cell. Toro cells mein sirf ek hi difference hote hai wo hai cell wall. In plant cell we can see cell wall but in animal cell, the cell wall is absent. The cell wall is only found in plant cells, consist of non-living substance such as lysogenin, pectin and cellulose. In the figure we can see this is a cell at the center and this is the cell wall. This is the cell wall. Now we come to the animal cell. As we know the plasma membrane is a protective boundary outside the cell which protects the cell from the outer environment outer environment. In plant cell, the protective layer is cell wall and in animal cell, plasma membrane is the protective boundary. It is found in both plants and animals. Plasma membrane, both plants or animals may paya jate hai. It is the outer membrane of cytoplasm and consists of living substance such as protein. 
ये साइटोप्लाज्म के आउटर मेम्ब्रेन में प्रेजेंट होता है और प्रोटीन कंसिस्ट करता है इट फॉर्म्स बाउंड्री बिटवीन द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड द सेल एंड द आउटसाइड ये एक बाउंड्री फॉर्म करता है साइटोप्लाज्म सेल के बीच में और आउटर लेयर के बीच में इट इज नॉट अ कंप्लीट बेरियर सम केमिकल पास इनटू सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड अदर पास आउट सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल ये कंप्लीट ओपेक बेरियर नहीं होता ये सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल होता है कुछ केमिकल्स जो कि सेलेक्टिवली पास कर सकते हैं और कुछ जो नहीं पास कर सकते हैं इट वर्क्स लाइक अ फिल्टर द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनल इज एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेडिक्यूलम इट इज अ नेटवर्क ऑफ ट्यूब्स और चैनल्स ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन इन द साइटोप्लाज्म which help in protein synthesis and conduction of material endoplasmic reticulum ek network hota hai ek tube aur a channel hota hai jisme protein synthesis aur conduction of material ko help karta hai endoplasmic reticulum do types ke hote hain ek rough endoplasmic reticulum and second is smooth endoplasmic reticulum here we can see in the figure this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum which is present in the outer layer of nuclear envelope and then the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is present after the rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes ribosomes are extremely small dense glandular and spherical bodies found in free state in cytoplasm ribosomes ek spherical body hai jo freely hamare cytoplasm mein paaye jate hain aur compose karte hain rna and protein se ribosome help karte hain protein ko amino acid ke formation mein ya synthesize karne mein protein ko from amino acids vacuoles are fluid filled sac within the cell a store of dissolved sugars mineral ions and solute hamare cell mein vacuoles present hote hain jo ki store karte hain sugar minerals and solutes plastids plastids are small bodies found in cells of higher plants plastids same higher plants mein milte hain there are two types of plastids ल्यूकोप्लास्ट एंड क्रोमोप्लास्ट ल्यूकोप्लास्ट कलरलेस होते हैं और स्टोर करते हैं स्टार्च प्रोटीन एंड लिपिड्स क्रोमोप्लास्ट कलर्ड होते हैं दो टाइप्स के होते हैं नॉन फोटोसिंथेसाइसिस क्रोमोप्लास्ट एंड फोटोसिंथेसाइसिस क्रोमोप्लास्ट the golgi apparatus golgi body or golgi apparatus is a bag like structure formed of stacks of membrane in the cytoplasm which help in protein synthesis and conduction of material jis tarah se humne dekha ki endoplasmic reticulum also helps in conduction of material वैसे ही golgi body भी conduction of material को synthesize करते हैं और also helps in protein synthesis mitochondria these are rod like or spherical semi solid structure containing dna in its matrix along with some enzymes which are found in all cells mitochondria ek rod like or spherical shape 
स्ट्रक्चर होते हैं जिसमें मैट्रिक्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड इट कंटेन्स डीएनए एंड एंजाइम्स इन द मैट्रिक्स डिसिंथेसाइज एडिनोसेन ट्राइफॉस्फेट एटीपी एनर्जी स्टोरिंग मॉलिक्यूल्स माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया को हम लोग पावर हाउस भी कहते हैं पावर हाउस ऑफ सेल एज वी नो इट प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी टू द सेल सीलिया एंड फ्लैजिला दीज आर फाइन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ सेल सरफेस एंड आर सिमिलर इन स्ट्रक्चर दे हेल्प इन लोकोमोशन एंड सम एनिमल्स ऑल्सो हेल्प इन फीडिंग सीलिया एंड फ्लैजिला फाइन एक्सटेंशन होते हैं सेल सर्फेस में फॉर एग्जाम्पल पैरामीशियम Paramecium is a single cell organism and consists of cilia. Iske body surface mein cilia milta hai jo ki isko locomote ya movement mein help karte hain and also help in feeding. Cilia are found in single cell organisms. मूवमेंट या लोकोमोशन हो और फीडिंग में भी हेल्प करते हैं लाइजोसोम्स दीज आर मेम्ब्रेन इनक्लोज ऑर्गेनिज दैट कंटेन एन एरिया ऑफ एंजाइम्स केपेबल ऑफ ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल पॉलिमर्स लाइजोसोम्स इन मेम्ब्रेन इनक्लोज ऑर्गेनिज होते हैं जिसमें एंजाइम्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं और वो हेल्प करते हैं या केपेबल होते हैं जितने भी बायोलॉजिकल पॉलिमर्स को ब्रेक डाउन करने के लिए सच एस प्रोटीन न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड लिपिड्स दे फंक्शन एज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ सेल इन केस ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ देयर मेटाबॉलिज्म दे डाइजेस्ट देयर ओन सेल हेंस दे आर नोन एज सुसाइडल बैग लाइजोजोम्स का अदर नेम इज सुसाइडल बैग Nucleus is located at the center of the cell. Nucleus may be round or oval in shape. Each nucleus is bound by a nuclear membrane which contains nucleoplasm. सभी nucleus एक nuclear membrane से bounded होते हैं boundary बनी होती है जिसको हम लोग देख सकते हैं और contain करते हैं वो nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm consists of chromatin and nucleoli. Here we can see in the figure. There is chromatin. Chromatin consists of DNA, RNA, and proteins. These are DNA, RNA, and proteins. Cell consists of forty-six chromosomes, which carry genetic. material enzymes control chemical reaction that go in the cytoplasm cell mein 46 chromosomes present hote hain jo ki genetic information ya hereditary information carry karte hain and the enzymes jitne bhi enzymes present hote hain nucleus mein wo sare chemical reactions ko control karte hain In human chromosome, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pair of autosomes, one pair of sex chromosomes. Total, there are 46 chromosomes per cell. One sex chromosome, if X, it is female. For a girl, and if there is Y, then it's a male. Here we can see in the figure. This is the nucleus, 
and it contains the chromosomes and in the chromosome there is a dna which carry the genetic information genetic information through this dna which is passed through the parents to the offsprings parents say of shrimps may ye genetic information carry hota hai that's why parents or children's may kuch similarities paaye jate variations hote hain but kuch similarities bhi paaye jate hain a chromosome is a long dna molecule with all the genetic material as we know all the genetic or hereditary information chromosomes may present dna carry करते हैं ईच क्रोमोजोम इज डुप्लीकेटेड एंड बोथ कॉपीज आर ज्वाइन बाय द सेंट्रोमियर टू आर्म स्ट्रक्चर इफ द सेंट्रोमियर इज लोकेटेड डिस्टली दे जॉइंट द कॉपीज आर नाउ कॉल्ड सिस्टर क्रोमैटिस द ऑटोजोम्स कंटेन द रेस्ट ऑफ द जेनेटिक हेरिडिट्री इंफॉर्मेशन this is a nucleus having chromosome and it will divide this is the pole it will start dividing and moves towards the pole move towards the pole and from the separate chromosomes form separate chromosomes two different daughter cells this is a parent cell the information the genetic information genetic information is carried through the chromosomes the dna to the daughter cells that's all for today if you have any doubts you can ask me questions in this email Thank you very much